Before you start, be sure to gather the following tools. A set of pliers, a thin flathead, and both a small and regular sized Phillips head screwdriver. Also, refer to the user's manual for more detailed instructions. Check to see if OWL fits your wheel. Confirm that you have an alloy wheel with a disc brake system and that the brake caliper can be seen through one of the major openings in the wheel between the spokes. Remove the wheel center cap. There should be a gap of at least 15 millimeters between the tip of the wheel axles and the inside of the wheel center hole lip for the three arm fixer to install. Installing the magnet and the three arm fixer to the wheel. Move the car slightly so that a major wheel opening can be positioned above the disc brake and then place the magnet on the center of its flat surface. Apply the handbrake to keep the car in place. With one hand holding the large hex key wrench that is put into the center of the hex hole and the other hand holding two long mounting screws partially screwed into the holes of the three arm fixer. Place the three arm fixer into the wheel center hole with its double lines pointing toward the magnet. Extend the three arms against the center hole lip wall and use the small hex key wrench to tighten the three small set screws until it's tightly secured inside the center hole against the hole edge lip. Installing the M1 front mounting base. Secure the cords to the back of the mounting base. Place the appropriate spacers and or taper washer underneath the mounting base if needed for optimal mounting position of the owl unit on the wheel. Align the arrowhead sign on the M1 base with the double line of the three arm fixer. Tighten it with the three mounting screws onto the three arm fixer so that it's firmly clamped to the wheel hole lip to form a firm mounting base for the owl unit. Secure the steel safety cords around the wheel openings and the M1 base is ready for the owl unit. Setting the owl unit. Loosen the two small screws at the bottom of the owl unit to remove the cover and install four new AA batteries. The LED light will turn on and run back and forth indicating the system is working. To upload your images, use the owl image designer editing software provided. Create and edit the desired images for your computer and save them to a USB flash drive. Then insert the USB flash drive into the USB data port in the battery chamber. The running light pauses while the image files are being uploaded to the system. Once the upload is complete, the LED light will resume running indicating the new files are uploaded and the USB flash drive can then be removed. The OWL unit comes set for right hand wheels turning clockwise. For left hand wheels spinning counterclockwise, slide the RL switch in the battery chamber to the position of L. If the brake caliper and magnet is at the rear side of this wheel, slide the 0 180 degree switch to 180 so that the images won't be upside down. Replace the bottom cover and tighten the screws after all the settings are complete. Mounting the OWL unit on the wheel fixing system. Place the OWL unit on the M1 base. With the two screw holes at the back aligned with the two threaded poles of the base, check to make sure that the sensor extender is pointed right to the magnet on the brake caliper. It should be approximately one half inch from the magnet. Adjust by loosening the sensor extender screws and or turn the sensor extender to lengthen it if necessary. Tighten the screws to fix the sensor extender in place after the adjustment. Complete the installation with the OWL unit in place on the M1 base. Now you can tighten the two security screws to firmly mount it in place. The unit will begin to display images once the car speeds up to 10 miles per hour. Please note that reaching speeds over 70 miles per hour may result in the images becoming shaky and unstable. A remote is also provided for convenience of turning the system on and off.